Jai Hind to all. Welcome back to my IT tutorials. And today, I'm going to cover session seven of yours. Basically, it is how to create a form by the help of form wizard. Now, form. Before again, setting my screen to show you how to create it. I'll definitely like to highlight what form is. As you all must be knowing, in table we store the data, but always entering the data into a table is not that way easy. Form is another way or easiest way to enter the data into the table. Form also help us to see the data from the table one by one. It's always better to analyze the data from the database with the help of form because our retention will be at a time only on one record. So that is what the form is. Definition of the form goes, it's a one of the object in database which help us to enter the data easily into the table. Forms can be created by the two different ways, by the help of design view and by the help of wizard view. But the syllabus of yours as in class 10th IT 402, you will see how to create a form by the help of wizard. So now I'll, now I'll share my screen and I'll practically show you how this form can be created by the help of wizard. Hopefully, you will enjoy this video and you'll be able to create the form at your home on your computer. Just I'm going to share now my screen for you. Now to create a form, first of all, you have to launch the open office as you all know. And under open office, we have a database package. So click on the database package and then either go to the existing database that you have already created or you can create a new database choice is yours. But in our case, since I have to demonstrate you, so I have already created the database and the same database I'm working as KPPS school. So just I'm clicking on the open and existing database file and the recently used or SKPPS school is my database that I want to open and click on the finish. The moment you'll click on the finish, you will see this window where we have a table, query, form and report. These four objects are there, must be visible to you. And then we have a form. So click on the form since we are talking about the form and go to the wizard to create a form. Now, the moment you will click on the wizard, form wizard, it will display this window where first of all, you have to select the table on which you want to create a form. Mind it, form is another way to enter the data into the table. So it should be based on the table only. So select the table that you like to. For example, I'm selecting the student table. So a student table is my table on which my form will be based. Immediately it will show you all the fields name of that table that you want to keep in form. Choice is again yours. You can keep all field. You can keep the few field. Normally I'm taking the all fields for your betterment and just select the this double arrow key. It will take all the field in the form. If you want to back, you can back it. If you want to one by one, you can go one by one. Choice is again yours and you can again back. So I'm selecting all. This is just I had shown you. Now since I want to keep all the fields, so I'm just clicking on it. All fields came this side. Say next. Here in this options, it is asking about decide if you want to set up a sub form. Mind it, I'm not going to create a sub form here. Subform may be required once we have such kind of task, but here it's a beyond of your context. So subform you all must be knowing. It's a form that is inserted in another form. So if a form is a you want to insert in a form, then it's called a subform. Our task is just to create a form. That's why we are not clicking on add subform. Just say next. Here it is showing you the what are the different again ways. I'll just take a see. If I'm clicking on the different this, the pattern or design or layouts are changing. So by default, I had selected these options that is the arrangement of the main form. And you can have this, you can have this, you can have this, you can have this. This is what I have selected by default. Then say next. It will ask you select the data entry mode. Mind it. 
Once you have selected the data entry mode, form is to be used entering new data only. If this radio button you are selecting, the first one, it may not allow you to do anything with the form except the data entry. So better to go for the second one where we have a form is to display all the data and it will also allow you to do the modification, deletion and addition which is very required. So I have selected the second radio button. I am not ticking on any checkbox because this is do not. If you click on the first checkbox, it means you are saying do not allow modification of the existing data. It means through form you can't modify. Again, if you have selected the second one, the do not allow deletion, it means through the form you can't delete. And if you had click on it, you can't add the data through the form. I want this all should be again the facilities in my form. I am not selecting any of this. Say next. Now here we have a different again color or background or pattern that you can apply for example red or watercolor or gray or orange or dark whatever color you want you can go for it choice is again yours and uh, then say next it is asking you the form name so a student forms is the name i want to give and finish moment you'll click on finish you must be able to see the data here this form having some data due to the color combinations you are not able to see but it has got a several record and the bottom of that you can see there are seven record now how to add a new record in the form now to add a new record you just go to the last column this is the last again and start adding so admission number suppose if I'll highlight, you are able to see the data. Mind it. So 101, then 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108 and 5, then 8, then 10, then nothing is there. So 111, I'm entering here. So I've entered 111. Name, any name you can enter. Say Mohan. It's a new record I'm showing you. Class you can say suppose 12 class. Section it may be A. Address it may be Tosham. And then CT I'm again saying Sibani. This is what I entered. So now there is an 8 record. If I want to go to the first record, simply in the record navigator again bar, you can just type 1. Kindly see 1 and press enter you are in the first record where the city is Kolkata and likewise you can go to the any record now if a record is supposed to be deleted so just again see this record I want to delete 103 so simply you have to delete it and for deleting there is a options delete record now here if I'll click on the delete record it is asking me you intend to delete one record say yes this way you can delete a record. If you want to modify a record, then go to that record. For example, as you can see now, this 110 Asok 10C. Now the section of this Asok I want to change. This is modification in the form I'm doing. It may reflect in the table also. So I'm just making it B. So say B. So I made it B. And now if you highlight, you'll see it is a B now. So this is how you can add. I have shown you how to add the record in the uh, through the form into a table. How to modify a record through the form of a table, and the simultaneously how you can delete a record of a table from uh, through the form. And these are the three again basic tasks: addition, deletion, and modification we do on our data, and how to create a form by the wizard that you have seen. Kindly try the same. And I hope you'll be able to do it easily. The next is a report wizard. I'll cover the next report wizard in the next again. Try the form first. And I hope you'll enjoy this video because it's a small video. Usually you'll, it will be again accessible to you all. Otherwise, if I'll cover the reports wizard together, it will be a very lengthy one. And sometimes you may face the problem to load it. So kindly like it, subscribe it and enjoy this video. Thank you.